Hey everyone, welcome back to another repainting video. I've actually been working on this Chaos Effect Thrasher T-Rex repaint for quite a while. I actually started this, I think, in the middle of May, and then I took a break from it and then decided a couple weeks ago that I really, really needed to finish this thing off. And I'm actually quite happy how this turned out. This was actually probably, I haven't done many repaints. This was definitely the hardest one I've ever done so far. I don't have an airbrush kit. I do all this stuff by hand with acrylic paints and I really, really need to invest in an airbrush kit because this just took forever to get right. I obviously used a Legacy Collection Extreme Chopping Brown T-Rex. This is actually the only Brown Extreme Chopping T-Rex I have. I already have the Legacy Collection Green T-Rex, the Bite and Fight, and the Thrash and Throw. So I really didn't need another Brown T-Rex in my collection. So I had a gift card with a few bucks left over on it. And I picked this guy up for probably about 12 bucks just to do this repaint. I'm a big fan of the Chaos Effect line and the Chaos Effect Thrasher T-Rex is one of the few from that line I never got a chance to pick up. So this is why I wanted to do that repaint so I could have my very own Chaos Effect Thrasher T-Rex. So I'm not in the habit of keeping my figures in their boxes. I actually have the tail right here. I'm gonna take this guy out and we're gonna attach the tail and see what this thing looks like completed. All right, let's get this tail attached and see what this thing looks like fully completed. Ugh. Look, there it goes. And there it is. There is the Chaos Effect Thrasher Rex repaint fully completed. I'm going to have to go back and touch up a little bit. Got a little scuffed up when I put it in the box. I actually did seal it with some matte paint finish but obviously it wasn't enough I have to do a couple more coats on this thing and for those of you wondering it does have the purple tongue the purple tongue was probably like my favorite on this figure it's just so bright and like gaudy 90s obnoxious in its color scheme so let's spin this thing around and get a look at it from the other side the one thing about the uh, Thrasher Rex from the, the pictures and stuff I researched when doing this, it does not have a symmetrical pattern. The pattern is different on both sides of the body, so it was kind of a pain to replicate that. Obviously, I didn't really get the blue lined up with the tail just right, but whatever. I still think it looks good. And here it is from the top view. And here it is with my first Chaos Effect repaint, the Raptor Alpha. And I actually started to do another Chaos Effect repaint of one of their canceled figures, so I should have that done probably sometime this week. And here it is from the other side with the Raptor Alpha repaint. I've seen a couple people post online that the Bite and Fight T-Rex is on clearance at certain Walmarts for about $20. So I'm gonna be checking mine this week and see if I can find one for about $20. I eventually want to do the Chaos Effect Omega T-Rex repaint. So hopefully I can find a Bite and Fight T-Rex on clearance so I can paint it in that retina melting bright orange that the original came in. And I think somewhere in the future of the Mattel line, if Mattel actually did Chaos Effect repaints on uh, some of their dinosaurs, I think a lot of people would definitely buy those. Or you can even make it like an online exclusive to like Amazon or Entertainment Earth. Or maybe even a convention exclusive, but this is just a random idea that just popped in my head, so really don't take that too seriously. And that will do it for this repaint video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Cast Effect Thrasher T-Rex repaint. I really, really enjoyed doing this repaint, even though it took me forever to get this thing done. I'm just really happy how it turned out. And like I said, I have another Cast Effect repaint in the works. I should have it probably done sometime this week. And as always, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Each subscription helps the channel tremendously, and I'll greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys for the next one.